Hello, Internet, YouTube, um, in the garage. Getting ready to pick some orders. It's Sunday night, so I just uh, got back from church, uh, went to eat, got groceries. <sighs> I'm tired. Um, but we got some orders. Uh, we're going to do that real quick and then get some rest. I picked up a very dusty uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, I was hoping there'd be a game in it, but there wasn't, so I gotta clean that up. It's been stored in the barn, so we'll see if it works. Also, some games, um, no amazing titles or anything, but, you know, Mario Duck Hunt, uh, Ninja Turtles Arcade, um, Mario Bros. 3, it's a great game. Um, one of the Bible games, I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, not a bad pickup. The Nintendo Power magazines, unfortunately, are ruined. The boxes are probably going to be ruined, but I'll try to clean them up if I can. Um, and I got this, uh, this right here. If you can see the dollhouse, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's from, I, I think it's from the 50s, maybe. Something like that. Um, the door, windows, and stuff are inside. Uh, it needs cleaned up as well. I think it's made by Marks. It's a tin dollhouse. Um, Fred Flintstone. That was a freebie. And I got some of these photos that I thought were really, really cool. Um, you can see it's kind of in a folder. I don't know anything about these. I picked them up with this lot of stuff. And I, they were too cool to leave sitting, so um, I had to buy them. Some of them are military, some kids, some different stuff. Um, I don't even know, like, time frame on these. I know basically nothing about those photos, um, except that they are really neat. Um, I'm sure there's a market for them. I probably won't sell these on eBay. I'll probably talk to some friends of mine who collect this kind of stuff, see if they'd be interested. Um, also picked up a box. I think I've already gotten everything decent out of it. I'll pick a few more pieces and we'll lot them up. But this was a box of Happy Meal toys from McDonald's, Burger King, Dairy Queen, uh, mostly from the 80s and early 90s. And you know, it was a, basically a throw in on that deal. So um, took a little time to clean stuff up and get it ready, but I think it's worth worth the time considering it was free. Uh, these are some things I bought on retail arbitrage from Walmart. Um, these were ringing up. Uh, they were originally 40. They were ringing up at 19, or they, they said 19 in the package. They rang up at nine, so I bought those. And these uh, K-Cup, like Farberware brand, but they're like Keurig machines. Um, those were 35, I believe, marked at 19 clearance and ringing up at nine. So I bought those as well. I may regret those considering how that we just ship. I got a feeling um, it's gonna be pricey to ship those. But anyway, we'll see. Um, also picked up some window shades for cars. Uh, like uh, like sunshades to go on the windshield. I picked up some Punisher, Black Panther. Um, I think that's it. Oh, Star Wars. Uh, I, I've already sold two of the Punisher ones. I'm getting ready to pick one. I've mailed one already. Um, they were $3.50. I think I got like $17 out of the Punisher one. Um, and I sold two of the Punisher so far. I actually, tonight I just got the Star Wars. I didn't pick them up the last time, so I went and picked those up tonight. Um, the Black Panther, I've not sold any of those yet. So we'll see how it goes. Um, let's see. First order. A okay, first order is in this tote right here. I know that because I just put it in there. Um, 
It's gonna be a little difficult because I got all these trains on top that I've still not gone through. This is tricky to do one-handed. I really need a cameraman. Uh, Okay, it's a little precarious, but I think it's okay. And there it is. Uh, Punisher window shade. Okay, that's one. Uh, number two is a, where is it? Where would I be if I were a racquetball racket? I'd be right here. Ah, can you see it? It's down in there. Again, the trains are in the way. Everyone needs to get those trains sorted. There's two boxes of those. Racquetball racket. Bought that. It was at a Goodwill, but it was brand new. I think I paid $2 for that. Uh, let's see, the window shade sold for $16.99, and sorry, I'm trying not to show addresses and buyer names. Um, Racquetball Racket sold for $35. I took a best, and off, best offer on that. Next. We sold this big package of DVD RW camcorder discs. Um, this I picked up for, I think I paid $3.99 for that at Goodwill. And we sold it for $25.99 with free shipping. Okay, next is Optimus voice recorder. Where might that be? I'm guessing it's in one of these. Yes, here it is. Optimus Micro 33, that's it. Voice recorder. I got this for, I think, for 50 cents. Sold it for $24.99, free shipping. Uh, Keychain. Oh boy, wow. Haven't sold one of these in a while. But we still have a lot of them. Uh, here they are. I already showed this in a video. Isn't that cool? I don't know if I showed that or not. That's really cool. I would have loved to have had that when I was in elementary school. X-Men. Well, not in a good will. Um, here we go. Maybe. These are from a lot of keychains that I bought at a Salvation Army uh, thrift store, Kenworth. There were some metal ones too. Um, I'll show you one of the metal ones. I have one on my keychain. That's what the metal one looked like, Kenworth logo. And on the back, info for the service center. Phone number, there we go, phone number for the service center. These were a really good pickup. I think I'm sold out of the metal ones. I sold those for like seven or uh, six to eight bucks each. This, I, these I sold for, this one I sold for $4, uh, but I sold some for five or six each. Um, but uh, I guess I need to put that bag back. One out. The great thing about that lot is I picked it up um, I saw the, I saw the keychains in a box, small box, and they were marked like two dollars each. So I asked if they would sell the whole box for one price. They said no. I asked to talk to the manager and see if he would make a deal, um, and he did. I offered him twenty five. It was either twenty or twenty five. I think it was twenty five dollars for the box, and um, I have sold to date, uh, almost $2,000 worth of keychains out of that one box. Of course, there's a lot of shipping involved because you have to ship each one of them, but uh, we made our money back, um, you know, several times over. And uh, you don't have those kind of deals every day, but that was that was an awesome, awesome deal. We've probably made a profit 
20 times our money, I would say, uh, or more. Um, so yeah, great pickup. We're still selling selling those. We're selling those cheap now, but um, you know, as long as we get rid of them uh, at this point, if we make anything, I'm fine with it. Two more items. One is, um, those are gonna be over here. Uh, I might shut the camera off for just a minute because I gotta move these tubs. Uh, one is a Lou LaRoe top that we bought at a church uh, yard sale, actually. Uh, someone was closing out their Lou LaRoe business. We bought it for five bucks. And we bought that for five bucks and sold it for $29.99. And the other items are, oh, two boys, uh, let's see, a Star Wars t-shirt and a Minecraft t-shirt. We put in a lot. We paid a dollar each at Walmart, retail arbitrage. Um, sold the lot for eleven fifty. We took a best offer on that one. So we're not getting rich on those t-shirts, but we did buy like a hundred items, shorts and t-shirts. And we've taken some offers on some of them, but a lot of lots we sold full price. Um, so we definitely um, tripled our money probably on those. So. You know, not a bad deal overall. Okay, I found those um, shirts, LuLaRoe, ladies shirt, and the, uh, let's see, I'll show you. LuLaRoe striped shirt, and then a Star Wars shirt, and there's a Minecraft shirt inside there too. Um, that's it, all the orders, we had seven orders um, since, let's see, this is Sunday night. This will be since noon on Saturday. We shipped off a bunch of stuff at noon on Saturday, so not a, Busy weekend, but not, you know, not bad. We sold some stuff. Um, like it to be busier, hopefully Q4 picks up. But we are back on track. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. If you like it, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time.